Hello, uh, this question is about fluidization. And the question is, a filter of activated carbon is cleaned by passing a hot gas flowing from the bottom to the top so that the bed is fluidized and the impurities are carried out with the gas stream. The gas enters the filter at 100 degrees centigrade and the density and viscosity of the gas at those conditions are 1.9 kg per cubic meter and 2.27 times 10 to the minus 5 Pascal second respectively. The particles in the filter are cylindrical pellets with a diameter of 2 times 10 to the minus 3 meter and the length 1.5 times the diameter. The activated carbon pellets have a density of 2550 kg per cubic meter. The particles are contained in a cylindrical pipe of 0.3 meter in diameter and 1.5 meter in length placed vertically containing 100 kg of pellets. Determine the, surf, surf, the surface to volume equivalent spherical diameter of the particles for this application. That's the first part of the question. The second part is experimental measurements show that the length of the bed at the minimum fluidization condition LMF is 0.9 meter. Determine the void fraction at that point. And the third part of this question is about determine the pressure drop across the bed at the minimum fluidization condition. Okay, first the first part of the question that is the surface to volume equivalent spherical diameter the SV, there is an equation for that that is equal to 6 divided by A SV, a specific volume based specific surface area. Okay, and to calculate the volume based specific surface area, you need to calculate the surface area of each particle divided by volume. And the particles are cylindrical particles, and here if that is D, if that is D, and that is L, okay, so the surface area AS will be equal to the area of these two phase basically that is 2 pi d squared divided by 4 plus the lateral area that will be pi d times l which will be equal to 2 pi d squared divided by 4 plus the l the, uh, is one and a half times the diameter therefore one and a half times d times pi d will be equal to one and a half pi d2 that is the surface area okay and the volume of such a cylinder is equal to uh, the area of the base times the height which is pi d squared divided by 4 times height that is one and a half d okay so based on these two uh, calculate the, based on these two equation you can now calculate uh, asv which will be equal to which will be equal to 2 pi d squared divided by 4 plus 1.5 pi times d2 divided by pi d2 divided by 4 times 1.5 d. Okay? And that you can uh, simplify this fraction and that will be equal to 8 divided by 1.5 times d. So that is ASV. Okay? And, and so to calculate the DSV, you need to calculate you need to basically use this value so as we as mentioned above therefore dsv will be equal to 6 divided by asv which is 8 divided by one and a half times d which will be equal to uh, 9 divided by 8 times d and and uh, the d value is given so we calculated here uh, d SV is equal to 9 divided by 8 times D and the D is already given in the question and if you plug it here you will end up DSV equal to 2.25 times 10 to the minus 3 meter. Okay, so the second part of the question is uh, about the void fraction at the minimum fluidization condition. So that uh, basically uh, the volume of the particles the volume of the particles is equal to area cross sectional area a times length that is length at the minimum fluidization condition but and that gives you the volume but that volume includes the volume of the solid and the volume of the void space you need to multiply it multiply this by the epsilon or the porosity at the minimum fluidization condition to consider only the volume of the solid okay so uh, so now here you have the volume of the solid because we know the pellets are 100 kilogram so uh, and the density you have 2550 okay so if you divide mass by density that gives you the volume 
which will be equal to the, uh, the area that is pi divided by 4 times um, diameter squared, that is 0.3 with the power of 2. Uh, note here that you need to use the diameter of the, uh, the basically container, cylindrical pi, okay? So that will be the cross-sectional area because this is your basically cylindrical pipe and the particles are, are, are in this one and here the area is the area of this, the cross-sectional area of this uh, pipe basically and the, the diameter is given in the question as 0.3. So therefore here A will be pi divided by 4 times 0.3 with the power of 2 times LMF which is given in the question times 0.9 times 1 minus epsilon mf which is the question okay so in the, you have one equation one unknown that is epsilon mf then you can simply calculate epsilon mf as 0.384 okay and for the third part of this question uh, it's about determine the pressure drop across the bed at the minimum fluidization condition so for the pressure drop at the minimum fluidization, minimum fluidization condition, there is a, an equation that is delta P divided by LMF is equal to 1 minus epsilon MF times rho S minus rho times G, okay, uh, minus rho F basically, the density of fluid. So you have here all the parameters except delta P. Therefore here delta P is equal to LMF, that is 0.9 times 1 minus epsilon, that is 1 minus, you already calculated, epsilon 0.384 times rho S, that is 2550 minus rho F, which is 1.9 times G, that is 9.8, and that will be equal to delta P, then you can calculate it as 13.4 kilopascal. And that's the solution to this question.